everyone. So I have a little guest over here. It's Mason, and we can give a little wave, just like that. <laughs> so we thought actually it was Mason's idea to create a little video together about color theory. And I thought it was a great idea because we have Easter holiday starting off today. Um, today is the, goodness, what is it? Is it the 4th? Yeah, 4th of April. And I don't know how the Easter holidays coincide with like European dates and whatever, but if you are um, having kids uh, who also have um, Easter holidays, it might be fun to get them joined in. Um, so here are a couple of things that we will be using. We will be using watercolors today and yeah. we have um, obviously some brushes. So Mason has mm -hmm. some of his um, brushes that he uses quite often, the round size. What size is this? Um, six, eight, and twelve, and I do loads of watercoloring, different kind of colors, That's loads it. of them. Very good. And I have my oopsie, oh. I have my brush right here, which is the um, Jackson's Quill Brush Ten Zero. And what else? Obviously, waters. I put two jars of waters here just, just in case. Some napkins or kitchen towels or kitchen papers or rags, whatever you have available. Then Mason has this big color wheel right here, which is quite handy. And I have my mini one. So, um, yeah, they're exactly the same. They're just bigger and smaller, yeah? And we and this is my water glass and this is mummy's water glass. That's as well. right, yeah. Then I have some um, ink pad and some acrylic blocks. And today um, I will be using this round element from my um, color theory stamp set. And it's quite convenient to just plop it somewhere on the paper and then have all the lines ready for you. Generally, when I stamp, I don't use black um, ink, but I think for children it's easier to see. So we will use black today. And basically it's just going to be about playing and, um, you know, talking and learning a little bit about color theory. And it's quite a relaxing and fun little exercise, we hope, right? Mason loves color, like you said before, so he enjoys doing that. Hopefully your kids do as well. And yeah? mommy's a good artist as well. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, so then I have uh, the Schmincke watercolors that we will be using today are the Academy ones. And they are uh, obviously uh, slightly less expensive as the artist grade and uh, good quality for children um, to dip their toes into when it comes to you know beginning with with um, working with watercolor so we've got a range of 24 colors here and um, yeah so we've got everything we need and then I've got some 300 GSM cold press watercolor paper this is B paper company professional series I think it was quite affordable back then when I bought it but what I like about it is the size and I'll just basically get two pieces of paper prepared for um, each of us and then we'll start yeah and ayana has loads of color palettes and colors <laughs> yeah, i do <laughs> all right see you in a second okay so i just basically propped up the um, color wheel onto the acrylic block and we're ready to stamp so i'm going to start first and then mason will do the same on his side um, I think, how many shall we stamp? We could stamp just one. Just one? Maybe two? Well, I thought, let's do four and then we'll see if we need more, we can always stamp more. But maybe four is enough. Because I was thinking we'll start by just mixing the colors and talking a little bit about color theory. Okay, so we've got four here. Now Mason is going to do the same on his side. So there we go. Oh, sorry. That's okay. So just basically 
stamp them all around there. Oh. That's it. Good. Mm -hmm. Maybe not so close together. You have loads of space there. <clears throat> Okay, last one. Fantastic, very good. Okay, so I thought for the first example um, we will mix a purple and I want to explain why it is so important to understand the color theory. Because you can learn loads of colors. Yes, how to make them, right? Yeah. So for instance, if you would like a purple but in your palette you only have this one purple and mm. you want a different one what would you do what other two colors do you need to create a purple you can use red or blue mm -hmm. or light blue and it would make another kind of purple That's and it. blue and this is a blue green so mason is talking about the blue green here do you want to show it a bit more here in the camera so you can see that's it so that color here the blue green that could also make a purple but it becomes um a bit more earthy but yeah any blues darks or warms or cold or <laughs> light blues with any of the reds will give us different purples so let's try and do that we will look at the palette and pick three different uh, reds or pinks and then three different blues so in this case we have a cadmium red hue a carmine and magenta and we have uh, ultramarine prussian blue cyan and indigo okay let's do that so we will start with with um the color purple purple okay so we're going to mix the purple let's start which pink would you like to start with mason cadmium red hue mason over here carmine or magenta one of those three Jamenta. Jamenta. okay let's do magenta and the magenta is this one here so we're going to go into magenta, or as you call it, gementa. Yeah. Good. And what we're going to do is basically color the palette in. Just the one triangle out of the color wheel. Yeah? Yeah. And for our purple, which um, or for our blue, which one would you like to use? Indigo, ultramarine, Prussian blue, or cyan? Indigo. Indigo, okay. So then we go into indigo. Where's indigo? That one, yeah. Ooh. A bit too much water there. Yeah. So try to control your water. If it's too much, what do we do? Take a little bit off. Yeah. I take this many finger. Good. Is it helping? Yeah. Good. And for the third color. Yeah. Uh, we need to pick a yellow. I know. So that would be our the primary colors. So a yeah. yellow, red, and a blue. And we Is have a few the... options here. So we've got the light lemon yellow, cadmium yellow hue, and Indian yellow. Which one would you like? Indian yellow. Indian yellow. Let's go for that. So Indian yellow is this one here. Mason sweetheart, you need to leave a gap between them because these are going to be the colors we mix. So maybe, um, maybe start here on this. Um... What about these? Okay, so Mason starts again with his one because we need to keep spaces in between. Those will be the colors that we will be mixing. 
and now we have Indian yellow which is right here mm -hmm. I think there's too much water in your brush again so when there's a big drop of water hanging off that means there's too much water okay so the next thing we're going to do is now mix the pink and the blue to create a purple so where are we going to mix that so we're going to take first of all what you need to do that's right clean your brush basically when you have a drop hanging like that can you see that's too much what you do on the edge of the of the jar just take that water off mm -hmm. or you can sometimes do it on a tissue but don't go like that because that means your brush will be too dry which is also not good for the watercolors mm -hmm. yeah you need to have perfect ratio of water okay so we've got the magenta right here you can do that in this little area so this is the indigo mm -hmm. And then put it into, oh, that was way too much. Can you see that? So take very little of the indigo. This is indigo. Yeah. This one? Yeah. And that is our purple. Ooh. This magenta. Yeah. So that's your purple. Where is that going to go? In here? That's right. Very lovely, good. this purple it is. It is purple, lovely, isn't it? So what's for our next colour? So next we're going to mix the blue and the yellow to create a green. Uh -huh. First yellow or blue? So first we're going to do a bit of this indigo. So use this side of the... Uh, indigo is this? One second, you've got some colour in here. I'm just going to clean that up quickly. That's all green. Yeah, that's already green. We don't want that. Okay. That's a different kind of green. Mm-hmm. So indigo goes into here. So that's a blue. Right here, yeah. And then some yellow and we're going to do a green. So I think that's an interesting green actually. I'm going to go with that. But if we wanted it a bit more green, we could add some more yellow. So what would we need to do to make it more green? Blue and yellow? What, would, what do we need to do? A yellow. A yellow, that's it. So into that I would add more yellow and I get a more kind of lighter green. This yellow. Mm -hmm. And you could even... Th this one? Yes, that one. Okay, so we have gone ahead and we've finished mixing our color wheels. Would you like to show yours, Mason, as well? Yeah. That's it. Okay, so here we have some lovely mixes that we created. They look really, really nice. So I thought as an easier um, <laughs> exercise, perhaps, uh, we will do, um, maybe we'll just stamp, let's see. Oh, I know what. Let's use this long piece from the color theory set and what we're going to do is nice and easy this time so mason what have you learned from the from doing these colors that you need to have a good water ratio is that right yeah what does that mean that means you have to have a good water or if it's dirty it might make the colors a bit yucky exactly so that would be the second point so making sure that the brush is nice and clean when you go in the other colors because sometimes it can create muddy mixes that's very good and water ratio 
That means that you need to have the perfect amount of water on your brush. What's a perfect amount of water? So it would be something that is not dripping off the brush, so you don't have a whole big drop of water hanging there, right? So that yeah. would be too much. Um, What's too little? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me. Um, if, if there's a big fat drop, yeah. you can wipe it off on the That's little That's it, show cup. us, how would you do it? So say this is your brush. That's it, show us a big, too wet. Oh, that was, you taking care of that, is that right? Yeah. So when is it too wet? Show us when it's too wet before you do that. Let's see, yeah, there is a big drop hanging there, that's it. And what would you do now? That's it. Or also sometimes you could also use the napkin as well, yeah? That's it. Good. What would be a too dry brush then? It'd be... That's it. If you do too many times, it's too, too dry now. And how do you know it? Because my mummy tells me. <laughs> That's right. But it's also because the bristles, they kind of take a shape and they sort of stay. So you know that the, the bristles don't have enough moisture in there. Is that right? Like now, for instance. Yeah. That's it. So to have a perfect amount, let's show. So this is too much water when we have literally the droplet hanging like that. Now we have the perfect amount. So it's wet enough, but not too wet. So that's a very, very important lesson to learn. And like you said, not muddying the colors before you mix them. Okay, so I'm going to use this um, little stamp set here from the, from the color set and then from the color theory. What we're going to do is just, we're going to try and attempt mixing colors Such a, such a lot mm. no we're not doing that much we didn't film all all of the other stuff that's why okay so i don't know shall we do five i wanted to do three three okay you do three there you go you stamp it on your side actually i want to do two yeah maybe do it here mason because i don't think the camera can see all the way that way it's a bit too far, so do it here somewhere, yeah? Like that, so we can see it. Wonderful, okay. One more. That's it, very good. We. Oui. Oui. Fantastic. Is that enough for you? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to go off and, and do your own thing after this? <laughs> yes. Well, we're not finished yet, oh, wait. <laughs> Mason uh, can't wait to go back to his computer playing so yeah because uh, you can go to your other game and and it can go into your other game and you can select who you want to be as well that's it so which games are you currently into I'm kind of into Mario Kitty Mario which one is that Mario Party or Mario game card what is it called the Mar driving thing uh, Mario Kart Mario Kart and what's the other one you also quite like the singing one yeah, the and, karaoke. I, and I do like the flying one as well, mm. and you get to have those clues. Fantastic. Okay, let's go back to colour mixing. So, uh, which colours would we go for this time? I think we'll rather just do one colour without mixing any colours. No, I think select a primary colour, so one yellow... Uh, so two primaries, Mason. Either yellow, pink or blue. Which one? Pink. Okay, so that's one of you. You need the second one. Yellow. Blue or yellow. So pink and, and uh, yellow for you. Yeah. Okay, so you know where the yellows are. There are three yellows here and three pinks here. Okay, mm -hmm. so make sure you put one color on one end. Yeah. And pull it out until the middle. Put the other color on the other end and pull it out to meet in the middle. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. That's going to be a little bit tricky. So, cadmium yellow hue for me. Come on, get your brush ready. And I'm going to start on one end and pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. And then I'm going to go for 
I'll go for the cadmium red hue. I'll go for that one. Okay, good idea. And then we're going to meet it in the middle and pull it out and see what happens. Sometimes you need to help it as well, maybe bring a bit more yellow into this just to see if you can create a nicer mix. I added a big drop, so I taked it on a tissue. Good. So I'd pick this colour. It would be lovely. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pull the red again. Sometimes if you think it's too much, what you could do is just reduce the amount of it. And then for blue, I'm going to go for the cyan. We make it orange. It's very bright. And that's going to get us this interesting color in the middle. Mm, it made me orange. Good. You created an orange there. Good. It's good I can make two colors because I would be a little bit tired after this. Good. So, so that's why. Carry on. What are your next two um, primaries blue and red good blue and red so in my case i've got a cyan and i also will put indian yellow just to see how both of those colors work together blue yeah this kind of blue i'm picking so one is too dry yellow there. and now we're creating a lovely green isn't that exciting it's like magic yeah. watercolor magic Okay. I'll just dry my pencil because this because I added blue something wrong, so I'm just going to make it. That's better. okay. All right. That's so okay. now I'm going to try that same red with this yellow this time. So the Indian yellow with the cadmium red hue. See how different the orange is. Now the red um, cadmium red hue is a very difficult color um, to control because very little goes a long, long way. So I think you may need a bit more water there, Mason. There we go. So we've got an orange in the end. Kind of takes over the whole thing, doesn't it? And then, what else could we do? I'm going to add this blue with this pink. Mm, okay. What it adds, what it makes. I want to see this blue with another pink, actually. With magenta, that would be interesting. I think we'd get a really bright purple. Whee! This looks lovely. Mmm. You got a purple there. Yeah. Good primary. Good. Oh, yay, yay, yay. Am I done? <laughs> Are you done? You don't want to continue? Are you finished? Uh, yeah, I'm finished. You're finished. Okay, well, you've done well there. Yeah. Well done. I've so done well. these are our primary and secondary mixes. Would bye you like... bye, everybody. Bye bye, everybody. Okay. All right then. Good boy. I'm just going off to play with some games. All right. Enjoy your games. Okay. So these have been our mixes. I hope you can get your kids um, pulled away from computers and TVs for a little bit. And I hope this helped. And um, yeah. So these exercises are really, really fun even though we can't get their attention for too long but i'm happy um, it lasted as long as it did and um, yeah enjoy the rest of the easter holidays and i will see you soon thanks for watching